people, 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 what's up, what's up? It's Ted Lee Gray here. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. La. So anyways, on the note said, this uh, channel, uh, Teddy Lee Gray, is not a political channel. It's basically mostly football. Football, regular boys are dealing over here. So, But, when you see once a while, I touch politics, whether it's local or international. So, but this video, I put it over the Green Vanguard um, YouTube channel. Yeah, but all right, so yes, now if you get no nice on them th thing there, I just saw it. It is what it is, you know what I mean? But, um, so we see a situation going over the PNP, um, the People's National Party. Some semi I talk about it now. Everybody know my president's already, everybody knows say you are me, I'm a cons a labor or a conservative person. Or you can say me is an independent, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, I see some people with the PNP when I read. So I see it. But anyways, we still have a problem with candidate selection. So I could say it, every administration have problem with candidate selection. So we don't nobody pretend like certain things new, but uh, how you handle it. Portia seems to me that the same issues, Peter Phillips and Joelness. Edward Siago, the whole of them have the same issues. I don't know about Bustamante and Norman man the days, but I believe them they have a problem because I think them they expelled some people in the past. So they have issues with candidate selection. So but are we handle it? And worse if you're not too popular or your party divided already, you have to know if you handle it carefully. So we so saw here the PNP email them candidates telling them, say you are now. February by February, then get a deadline by February, then want all the candidates um, to apply. Apply for the seats, um, etc. So it looks like that email was sent out maybe early February or January, late January. I don't know. We're not seeing a timeline on that. I'm going to the second letter where they the fast tracking business. So, so basically, the first email them sent to the applicants or whatever, basically, them tell them, say, hey, well, this is the process um, by February. According to them, the NEC stamp off and that approved that. So by February, everybody for whatever sign up and by what? Um, April, the candidates um, can start going to see it. From May to June, polling and soundings and everything are going. And then uh, July, who don't get over the 25%, um, them drop out, them have to get eliminated. Who get over 25%? I go move on to the delegate stage. You know what I mean? So it was understandable. And them say August, everything's supposed to end by August. Now it looked like something happened and them fast track it. So February 21, them send an email to them. Fast track it. So everything I end by April. So they might do everything, the polling and everything in of March, whatever, whatever. Now to me, the candidates them so and complain and say no. Um, April too soon. That are what? Run two months out of campaigning? April too soon. But it look like some of them they can um, complain. Maybe some of them take it say, yeah, them have to get over 25%. So make we use South East Center. Because I don't decide how I live. I mean, I'm not too, I never too see Patricia Duncan so down on the ground. It look like she coming in late, but I know we have lines in there on the ground. Him and the doctor, man, them dep on the ground. But you look like Patricia, maybe she get the email late or whatever. But around April, you see she late, late uh, March, April, she jump in. So she jump in late. But maybe she, because she have a name, she believes that maybe she'll get over 25%. So she no need to go out all out. But the poll come out, and she do what? 8.5%, the doctor, man, the 9%, and we have the 49 point something percent. Well, 49.3% or two, any one of them. So I'm a big lead that. So I understand why the PNP currently I said, no, they no need for gonna delegate selection. Plus then the man I lead by what over forty percent plus then none of the other candidates I'm not even get over twenty five percent. So I understand why the man stamp off. Remember um, Patricia is a loyalist or uh, Mark Golden, but uh, rules and regulations are a follow. But when we believe that Patricia and some other candidates uh, in other seats, Shando, 
I said, no, we need one more month. We need me. Okay, what in reality, what the big mistake with the NEC and the PNP make? August now go, we are August. Remember the PNP done split up and divided already now. Seven months out of campaigning was a big crap. So maybe they realize, say you know, say seven months of campaigning a fool of they make a big mistake. Or maybe they hear something say maybe the JLP them out try for cause something. I don't know what. But them fast track it for whatever reason. But I believe them fast track it because seven months out of internal battle, I divide them seat and the seat them can't go win again because the way them divided. So I understand the fast tracking, but you know, yeah, fast track it at least, you should fast track it to, f um, to me. So I believe them for go back and do some more poll again and give the people one more month out of campaign and give them till me, the end of me. I think that would settle each thing. And I believe in the poll stuff. I believe in it. I believe in it more than the delegate system. But let's say, the man go to the delegate system, I believe them try to widen the poll. Try to make everybody who wants to identify themselves as a PNP supposed to be eligible for vote in them primary. You know what I mean? That am I believe now. I don't believe in the delegate system. I don't believe the poll. I believe I'm more than one poll if you have to see a trend. So that am I thought on the situation. Give the people them tell me. Give them tell me.